Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Renita and this is Hometown Needleworks. Um, I thought I'd pop on today to give you guys a little bit of a shop tour before the grand opening, uh, which is Thursday, Friday, Saturday um, of this month, um, the 11th, 12th, and 13th of April. So that's really exciting. Um, I really am looking forward to it and seeing everybody that pops on in to see us. We have a lot of giveaways and you know just a lot of stuff happening during those three days. So first though, um, and I'll do the video after um, I show you guys all of my whips and the goodies that I've been working on. Um, this month has flown by. I can't believe that we're in the middle of April already. Um, I have been just busy as usual, so I haven't had an extreme amount of time to do anything for myself. <laughs> but um, I, I did get a little bit of stitching done, So, and I did get a finish. Uh, super excited about that and I'll go into that in just a minute. Um, as usual, if you guys have any questions about the video or anything like that, you can leave a comment down below um, or you can email me at hometownneedleworks at gmail.com. You can um, call the store. Um, the, that information is down in the description box as well. Um, and yeah, thanks for all you guys' support. I do really appreciate it tremendously. Um, so in addition to all of the support with the store, please like and subscribe to the video if you like the content. I don't put a lot out there, but I, I do my best and I usually only come down if I have something wonderful to say. So um, again, thanks for joining me today. So the first video, first one I'm going to show you is my finish. I'm super excited about this. This was a joint effort really with um, my friend Mary Jo. We decided to stitch um, House on Pear Hill by um, Blueberry Ridge. And we converted the pattern to the Vicki Clayton silks in our choice of colors. And, and so it was really fun. I really liked Vicki Clayton silks. I liked working with them. The colors are beautiful, very rich and vibrant. Um, and it, it really did do this piece justice. So I'm excited to show you this. Um, I stitched this on as well, Mary Jo did as well, on my 40 count um, Old World. 40 count is an even weave. And you know, I think it's quickly becoming my very favorite fabric ever. Um, it is so much, it's so nice to stitch on. Um, and I will not fib you, I am not very good at stitching on higher counts of fabric, but I really enjoyed this one. So um, this is my finish. And I never know which way to look on this camera when I'm recording on my phone, which I'm doing so because I'm gonna do the panoramic of the shop in a few minutes but um, this is my finish and I really I really enjoyed doing this I love the way it turned out it's not that big at all I mean my hands I do have a pretty big hand but um, from one side to the other I would imagine that's probably pretty close to seven inches ish um, by maybe five inches high. So um, again, 40 count old world uh, Verdal. And let me know what you think of the color, if you like the choices that we made um, as far as the pattern goes. This is the original that it was stitched on. So pretty close. And this was Milk and Honey by Fiber on a Whim. Now this of course can be dyed in all counts. I'm happy to do that. Special requests can be made. Um, so if you're interested in that and you don't not crazy about the 40 count, it can be dyed in other sizes. So, um, but this is, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing um, the other two charts that are out. I haven't decided. I have a lot on my plate. <laughs> so I don't know how, how, how that's gonna pan out. But I do think that they're all beautiful and I'd love to stitch them all. I just don't know if I had time. Uh, have time to do so, but I just think this is the cutest thing ever. So we'll see how fast it gets FFO'd. <laughs> um, okay, and then the next one that I'm working, I worked on was, of course, my um, the blue flower night walk down. I love these charts. I don't know if it's, 
I don't know what it is about it, but these charts are so much fun. And I'm going to try to show this. It's a big piece because I'm stitching it on 28 count. The call for of this was on a 40 count. So, and this is the, this is how far I've gotten so far. So it's a little bit larger than I was thinking it was going to be, but I do like the size. Um, it is, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. So I got, I have gotten quite a bit done on it. There's still a lot to go. I'll get it when I get it. Um, this is the called for floss. So when I'm looking at this, this appears really red, which, which it really is in, in real life. It's, it's more red than it would be black, but it is the called for floss. And, um, these are the called for. So I'm not sure the picture definitely shows. Um, I think I talked about this the last time too. The picture definitely shows that cat as being black um, and then her hair is black, but I promise it is the called for floss on that. So I'm okay with it. I like it. Um, it makes my piece unique, which, you know, um, there's nothing wrong with. So I'm going to leave it. I'm not unpicking all of that. I can tell you that right now. Um, and so um, I'm super excited to get this one finished. Now I stitched this on 28 count. Um, amethyst that I dyed and this fabric is available also in all counts but this is on 28 count Lugana um, and it's a beautiful color I am so pleased with uh, the results for redying this um, it's definitely not the same as the picture but I really like the way that the purple stands out so let me know if, what you think about this one um, I'm excited to get that one done. That was a stitch con start last year. And, uh, you know, it probably would have been done by now, except for I had to restart it when I was halfway done with the first one. Um, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Then the last one, sorry, didn't mean to bump the camera. The last one that I'm working on is, uh, or I should say the last one that I worked on this month, um, because I have a few more whips at home. I just didn't touch them, so I didn't figure I needed to bring them in and bore you to death with all of that. Um, is the, I did work on this one though, and this is the Blair Gauri with, um, from With Thy Needle. And I had talked about in the last video that these were, I thought were gonna be really difficult specialty stitches, but they're really not. Um, I think it's so, whim it, it's just pretty. It's just pretty. So I didn't get very far, but I did get some done. And I did do two of the, um, the letters so that you can see. And those basically I just did um, a single strand. Well, I'm using a single strand on the whole thing. But um, I basically, it's like a back stitch. So, and you know, if you've watched me at all, you know I'm not a fan of back stitching, but I don't mind doing that there. It, it just adds some more to the piece. I don't know. I'm just weird but um I really didn't mind that at all so and then um that's how far I've gotten so this is not the bottom I just stopped there I ran out of thread it's probably going to come to right about right here so it's a nice big piece this one is on um my 36 count and I should just write it on the back of the pattern um I think it's I think this one was stoned. I think this one was stoned. Um, it's either stone or antique. They're pretty close in color, so um, you really can't tell the difference between the two unless you hold them up next to each other. So, But I can put that down in the description box if I remember. If I don't, somebody please leave a comment so that if you are interested, I will find the answer to, for you because I have it written in one of my books at home. So, But anyway, there's that. And then these are, just as a reminder, the called for colors which are beautiful, uh, but these, it, this is the Sullivan conversion. So if you want to do the DMC, it's the same thing. Um, and I promise I will be getting a video together of the, to show the difference between a Sullivan and a DMC, um, compare them side by side with a few different um, colors, just so that you guys can see that they are the same. Um, and again, they're just um, easier to get. So that's a bonus because I like to have things that are readily available. Um, okay, so 
those are the things that I've been working on the last couple weeks since the last time that I've seen you. Um, the rest is all behind me and in the store. So I've been working feverishly for the last couple of weeks trying to get together the grand opening. And um, again, I can't thank you guys all enough for all of the love and support that you've given me um, since we did open the shop. And even prior to that with my Etsy shop, you guys are amazing. Um, and so I've been working feverishly to get this shop ready. Um, and I was, I'm so thankful for everybody, all of the designers that have helped me out with this. Um, the ones that have sent me trunk shows or just charts, giveaways, um, you know, words of encouragement, all of that. I am, I'm just so thankful for all of that. And I, I am going to mention a few of them that are going to be here at the show um, at the grand opening and then when we do the pan of the shop you'll be able to see the stuff that they sent um, first and by no means in order am I going to write going to tell you who these are but um, we have Annie Belcher from Annie B's she was lovely enough to send a trunk show and many patterns for you to choose from Chrissy Morgan finally a farm girl um, she sent a, a, a ton of charts and t lots and lots and lots I can't wait to show you these ones because you know they're they're all so cute but um, I hope I've arranged the store in a way that you guys are gonna have easy access for viewing when you come in um, Karen Kluba from Rosewood Manor she sent a massive massive trunk show um, Mike from Atomic Ranch Fabrics he sent a boatload of fabrics a boatload um, Janine McGowan from the Blue Flower um, she sent a, just a beautiful trunk show. Um, and then, of course, Annie Turner, um, the proper stitcher. She, her stuff isn't here yet in the store. It should arrive today or possibly tomorrow morning. Um, there was a bit of a miscommunication between her and I, but it's all worked out. It's all good. Um, we've got it all, all taken care of. Um, and so as far as the giveaways and the grand prize basically it's a door prize basket um, when you come into the shop doesn't matter what day you can come all three days if you if you want um, when you come into the shop you're going to get a ticket um, that you're going to put in for the grand prize basket that's free when you walk in the door the grand prize basket is going to be valued between 250 and 300 dollars and then you can purchase raffle tickets for the other items that are on the table um, and I'll, I'll go through that when we get to that point in the video. Um, but each of those tickets are going to be a dollar with all proceeds going towards classroom teaching in the back room here of the shop. I don't know if I'm going to get that back room in the video today, but I promise I'll get it in a future video. Um, it's just that there's a lot going on in the back room too. And we've got some set up stuff set up back there as well. Um, like overflow of charts and all the goodies. Um, so the giveaway baskets, um, are from Ezia Gladstone, which is the New York, she's the New York dreamer, Robin from October House Fiber Arts, Jason from Sulky, um, Judy Whitman, she sent many, many patterns in January. I'm just now getting around to getting them out there. I saved them for you guys for this event. Primrose Cottage, they sent a gift bag with, um, full of charts and then Fat Quarter Shop sent a gift certificate. So... Um, I am adding and contributing myself from the store quite a bit of things from the for the grand prize, which is the door prize. Um, I'm adding quite a few things to that basket. Um, and so it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody um, over the next three days. And yeah, so I think the next thing to do is just give you a little bit of a shop tour. So I am on my phone. I apologize, I hope I don't make anybody sick because I'm not very good at this, but I think it's the only way to do it because I'm not a professional by any means. So I have you on a tripod. I'm just gonna carry the tripod around with me and I'm going to um, flip the camera so that you guys are seeing it the other way around, if that makes sense. So um, again, I hope I don't make you guys real sick. So I'm gonna turn it around this way and we're gonna start. Okay, so 
Um, this is the front door of the shop. Two big, beautiful windows. Um, you're going to see from the outside, there's going to be a huge grand opening banner um, at the, on the outside of the building. So you can't miss us, miss us. The address is in the description box down below. Um, and so when you first come in this door, this is basically what you're going to see. Let me just turn around here. So I'm just going to do a quick pan of the shop. Um, and we're going to start on this side. You guys, I finally got the t-shirts are all displayed and they are beautiful. Right now I only have three colors. There are more colors coming. Um, and if you have a specific color that you'd really like to see, I'm happy to um, look into that to see if we can get that color in the shop. Um, the reason why we have shades, they are room darkening shades. The reason why we have those on the windows is because there is a lot of light that comes in from the front of the building um, pretty much most of the day that I'm here. Um, and so I don't want the fabric or the floss to fade. So that's why those those um, shades are on here. But if when you come, there's an open sign above the door. If that's on, then I'm here because um, it does kind of look dark. I've had a couple of ladies say if they thought I was closed. Um, so moving along, we have like basically the Lori Holt corner. There's a couple of like overflow things. There's a lot. These are um, Fat Quarter Shop bags. The new minis are, are coming. They're on pre-order already. Um, we have stitch cards. This is Lori Holt cross stitch over here. We have um, a few different colors of her um, cotton crochet yarn um, these are there's some fabrics that we have more of the fabrics coming these are bags that you can make yourself um, they're basically a kit um, and then her tumbler and that's her newest grid book there which is really nice and then up above that are the sulky um, petite sets those are a lot of fun um, here we have um, this is Annie B's trunk show that she sent. And I just love all of these pieces. There's everything that you see here. There's a chart available um, in the shop. If you are not able to come and you're watching this from a different um, location, you can certainly call the shop and um, I can set this chart aside for you. Um, and, and we can take care of it over the phone. I'm happy to ship anything that you see. Um, down below here, I'm just gonna show you that this is Rosewood Manor. These are just a smattering of charts that are available. Um, but any of the charts that you see on this rack here, we have them up above. This is the trunk show that uh, Rosewood Manor sent. And um, so I'm just gonna pan a little bit here so that you guys can see um, just how many pieces she sent. It's a massive amount and I cannot thank her enough for that. Um, I have been oogling over these charts for days now. Um, so that's wonderful. Thank you so much for that, Karen. Um, moving along, this wall here is our floss wall. It starts with classic color works. We then move into farmhouse flossies, weeks dye works, gentle arts, and then at the end we have the Sullivans that are hanging on the black racks. And some of the um, um, pegboards are empty because we're getting in some silks. And so when those arrive, then we will have those on display. There are some charts that are on sale just for the event. And then this is just a display cabinet with a bunch of finishing products. Um, more finishing products will be coming. Um, this rack here is, and you can get a sneak peek a little bit of the back room and maybe a sneak peek of what's coming in the shop. Um, this is hands on, heart and hand, sorry. This is heart and hand. Those are all of the charts that I have currently in stock for her. And moving along this way, we have um, the new things that have come from the Ukraine. We have needle boxes, we have scissor holders, we have an ort container, and of course we have the magnetic frames, which are almost sold out. So thank you guys for that. Tremendous um, response to, to those. 
And I can tell you um, that the other items that came from that company are not to disappoint you. They're wonderful um, and they're very reasonably priced. Moving over here, we have this now is, I don't know what we're going to call this wall. Um, my uh, beautiful friend, Mary Jo, she's contributed a couple pieces there on the wall. The frame piece is hers. Um, the rest of them are basically, they were my under the bed box finishes that I said it was about time they get out so people can see them. All of these charts are currently available for sale. Um, and so if you see anything there that you're interested in, don't hesitate to get a hold of me. Um, we have one rack here of notions. Those are mostly needles, scissors, all your gadgets. And then these bags here that you see, in, these are bags by a local lady that makes these. Um, she's brought them into the shop on consignment and I'm very happy to do that for her. They are beautiful. She makes vinyl front bags and then the tote bags have mesh on them. So they're very, very convenient for retreats, that sort of thing. So um, swinging back around this way, here's one rack all the way around. Um, there's one rack there, another rack here. Um, these racks are full of charts. Um, I'll just kind of give you a little bit of a sneak peek there um, and then of course we have the flat racks um, oh, both sides are full so much fun there um, swing back to the door here we have a rack full of there's two sides of all the charts that Chrissy Morgan sent from finally a farm girl I mean I've been eyeing them up for days as well they're so cute so cute um, we have some hands-on design there and a couple of other designers, October House Fiber Arts. Um, Jan Hicks is hiding on the corner there. Um, and then on this wall, we have um, just odds and ends. These are some of the bags that I make here in the shop, the, what, what is left. Um, I've been so busy, I haven't been able to make any additional bags. So they are coming, though I can promise you that I just need a free moment to get them done. This is the full sulky cabinet. Absolutely love this cabinet and all those empty spaces are new colors to come. There's 70 new colors that are gonna be released. This corner here is all of Finally a Farm Girl and um, I had to get really created, <laughs> creative because I don't have a lot of extra space. So I put all of, all of Chrissy's charts here in the corner um, the one that's in the bottom, that was a piece that I had finished, and I just wanted to put something there so nobody tripped on the dra drawer, but I don't know if it'll stay that way. Um, yeah, her pieces are so cute. Um, and then this is, um, I stitched one in the series. I, um, I, I need to put some uh, description tags up there. I think that's a good idea. I'll remember to do that before tomorrow. And then this wall here is all of... Um, blue flower. So these are the beautiful charts that they sent. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, sorry, my allergies are getting at me again. Um, I hope I didn't scare anybody to death with that. <laughs> um, couldn't be helped though, I apologize. Uh, so these are all the beautiful pieces, finished pieces that the blue flower sent. Janine does so Oh my gosh, these are so, so cute. And all of the charts that she sent as well. So anything that you see on the walls are available in charts in the shop. Then moving along here, this is our fabric wall, you guys. This is a stunner. I am so proud of this fabric wall. There are so many different fabrics on here, not just mine. Um, I like to support everybody. And so there's a bunch of different um, designers on here. This is the trunk show here that Mike from Atomic Ranch sent. He sent multiple counts of fabric and many, many yards of it. And there's probably 30 to 50 yards of fabric here. So very all reasonably priced. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, the bottom row here is all of my fabrics in the linens. And then most of the fabrics over there are the Adas that are sold. These are also hand dyed. A majority of them are hand dyed by me as well. And then um, smattered about basically by count anywhere from a 28 count Lugana all the way up to 56 count Kingston uh, from either my fabrics or 
um, somebody else's. I have Dam Dames of the Needle, R&R, &R, Weeks Dye Works, Laura's Fabrics. Um, let's see, who else? So I have Seraphim Fabrics are in here. I have a few that are still, we're still waiting on, Picture This Plus. Uh, fiber on a whim. We're still waiting on those to come, come in. Um, there's quite a wait list for those, so we'll see. But um, I'm going to maintain hope that we do get a few yards of of a few of the colors at the very least. Um, Shakespeare's Peddler is also supposed to be here. She, um, I got she and I got together a little later than the others, and so hopefully hers will be here um, Saturday. And she's sending me some of the graham cracker fabric, so. That's going to be exciting, and a bunch of her charts as well. So I'm very excited about that. And, of course, like I said, there's some, um, this is Fabric fl Flare. There's a couple of their colors are here. Um, and I can order more if anybody has any particular one, but um, it's so hard to judge which ones to carry and which ones not to carry. And, you know, I only have... Um, so much space so I just picked and choose a few of the more, more popular I think and then all of the bags are the Ada's and those are 14 16 18 and 20 count um, and so hopefully you'll find something there that you like um, and then this is just the fabric cutting station all fabrics are surged when you purchase them um, which is you know just an added bonus I think um, there's my granddaughter's high chair because she comes into the shop with me quite often now. And then um, this is the giveaway table. So I saved this one for last because I want to really get you guys, um, let you guys see what's on here. So this is the beautiful Maureen um, Appleton or Sorensen. She uh, sent a very large packet of charts and there's several charts in here so that's one giveaway um they're all absolutely beautiful and she's got a really cute um little tag in there that just gives a good description of her logo uh flossy and so then we have rosewood manor we have that here and then these are some added on iron on transfer sulky pens those are fun um, there will be four of these giveaways of october house fiber arts and a sulky floss pack those are um there are four of those and then we have a bunch of charts that were sent by the beautiful judy whitman she um sent these to me back in january when i first opened and i saved them for the grand opening for you guys um that's another giveaway those are um just adorable i mean just beautiful then we have um ezzy's ezzy's charts new york dreamer she sent these to me um, there's four different charts in here. They're so cute. Two of them are the newer ones. Um, and I know she has this backer available in her um, Etsy shop as well. So um, I think it's on her Etsy shop. Um, so then we move forward. And then this is the big kit that the big giveaway that Primrose Cottage sent. And I can tell you that these bags um are no longer made so it's really cute it's their logo on the front of the bag you get a pen a couple of stickers and then these are all one of every of the new charts that were released at nashville so that was very generous of them thank you so much for that girls and then in the big this is the big giveaway basket you're going to get the beautiful basket here as well um, I don't even know where I've gotten this basket, but I've had it in my stash for a really long time. And so I'm really excited that somebody's going to be putting that to use, hopefully. And if you don't want the basket, I'm more than happy to put it back in my stash. Um, but there's a $25 gift certificate for Fat Quarter Shop in there. There's a Fat Quarter of Linen from Hometown Needleworks. There's a project bag from Hometown Needleworks. There's a special surprise in there from the um, company from Ukraine. And then there's kits from Little House Needleworks are all in here. There's just a smattering of goodies in that door prize um, giveaway there. So um, I really look forward to seeing who wins. Um, you guys will be, anybody that enters into any of these giveaways will be given, uh, a, a basically it's a coupon or a ticket with numbers on it. You do not have to, you just need to keep the second half. And so I don't know who it is that um, is gonna win, but I'll pull out the numbers and we'll, um, I'll probably do a live video or a, actually I probably won't do a live video. I'll probably do um, 
I'm just going to turn that back around. I will probably do um, just a video of pulling out names um, and probably on Sunday. And then I'll contact you guys. I guess you're going to have to watch the video or I don't know. Maybe you can put a phone number on the back of it. I'll figure it out. It'll be... Yeah, I'll figure it all out. Um, I haven't really even thought about all of that just yet. So I hope you guys liked the video of the store. I know this is going to be another short and sweet video, but um, I have a lot going on and I'm just excited to have gotten this video out this far. So the grand opening is Thursday the 11th of April. Friday the 12th of April and Saturday the 13th of April. The store is open on Thursday and Friday um, from 10 to 5 on Thursday, 10 to 6 on Saturday, and 10 to 5 again on Saturday. Oh, I can't keep up with, I can't keep things straight. I have, it's just, it's just me. So, um, gosh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I didn't make you too sick with walking around. Um, and I hope you got to see a little bit of what the store looks like. Um, I'm really super proud of it and I am very appreciative of all the love and support that you guys have given me. So thank you so much for all of that. I look forward to seeing you during the grand opening and in the future, if you're traveling through Green Bay and you want to see me, you can always call me if the store is not open. I'm happy to come on in and, um, let you have a gander at, at things. So um, all the information is down in the description box and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.